Welcome. Allow me to invite on stage Mr. Simon Etherton for the wrap up session. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, well, well done for still being here. It's, uh, it's five o'clock on Sunday afternoon, so super. Um, I'm, I'm super impressed, actually. I mean, really, really impressed. Um, and um, I just want to, before I do a, a, a quick wrap up, I just want to say how, how um, it's been a, an honor and a privilege for me to spend two days with you. Um, really appreciate the opportunity to hear your stories, to um, get a sense of who you are, get a sense of your needs, your challenges, these kind of things. Um, and, um, you know, in my role as the uh, regional lead for English for the British Council, it gives me a great idea for the future of the sort of things that we should be doing to, to sort of meet the needs that you've expressed over the last few days. So <clears throat> it's been great. Thank you very much. Um, I think I'd like to, it's been a long two days, but actually quite a short two days, if you think about it. You know, when you're having fun and fully engaged, time flies. And if we think back to yesterday, um, if we think back to yesterday morning, it seems like a long time ago, but actually it wasn't that long ago, was it? It was quite, quite a short time ago. Um, and I'd just like to, to um, wrap up and talk about the conference and the sort of things that we've, we've talked about. And I won't talk for very long because I do know that it's five o'clock. Um, actually, I'm going to start, I wasn't, but now I'm going to start at the end. Um, and I just want to say, um, you four teachers who presented, um, wow, absolutely wow. I was, I was, I was bowled over, thank you. Um, I won't talk about you again, but I just wanted to say now, wow. Um, I, I, was, I was so impressed with how articulate you were, um, how you were able to, to um, get your message across, um, and, and what you were saying, and the, the sort of passion that you felt for what you were doing. So thank you so much. That was a great way to wrap up the conference, really super. Um, so <clears throat> if we think back to, uh, to uh, yesterday, um, and we think back to the start of the conference, and Ade sort of set the scene in terms of CPD, but also the, the sort of British Council engagement and involvement um, um, in, in this, and the perspective from the British Council, both globally, but also in terms of the Armenia context. And I think then Madam um, Deputy Minister gave us a great background to the Ministry's reform plans, and I thought that, I thought that, um, it was really great of her to share with us things, even things that are still in a draft format, um, and then to take questions from you. I thought that was a, 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 a really super example of, of, um, of accountability and transparency in government. I thought, you know, often you don't find senior ministry people who are prepared to come and stand up and share things and listen and answer questions. And I thought that was, that was just a great way to kick off the conference. And that kind of positioned all of our work and all of the things that we've talked about over the last, uh, these two days within the context of this reform program, which I think is really, really important. And I'm, I have to tell you, I am super excited that you are in the middle, not even at the middle, you are at the start of this amazing reform program that you are all going to have a say in, that you are all going to be able to sort of not just, not just take part in, but show the direction of that. And I think this is exciting times and, you know, I'm definitely looking forward to my next trip back here. Um, Stephen, our consultant, who, um, who has kept you company for the last two days, um, uh, he talked around, um, um, he brought his experience and expertise um, to outline and explore the, uh, the issues around CPD. And he kind of focused on the factors that, it, that he felt ensured professional development for teachers would be effective. And I thought that was a really good point to start the conference in terms of those practical issues. We had the Global Teaching for Success online conference. Um, um, I don't think we had enough of that because of the timing and, and so on. Um, but I thought what, what that did was that it helped us to get a sense of all of these others, thousands of teachers 
globally who are engaged in exactly the same discussions, the same facing the same challenges, uh, exploring similar solutions. And I thought it gave a, a sort of an international perspective um, to, to, to what we're doing. And of course, that's available online. So if you, I hope you feel motivated to go and see the whole webinar um, to, to follow that. Um, I won't talk about my session, um, but um, I suppose I, I was trying to, um, to uh, frame the ideas of a sort of more grassroots approach to professional development within a, how to do that practically through teacher activity groups and and it was great to sort of hear a little bit about about how that's um, how that's been piloted and implemented and how how sort of effective that that has proved to be here in Armenia in our pilot uh, pilot hubs um, and um, this morning we had the um, the plenary from Stephen was on special educational needs, um, inclusion, uh, um, differentiated learning, and I thought that was that was a really important sort of reality check for us because you know inclusion is something that I think we all can believe in. It's something that we all you know from a child, every child's perspective, every child has that right. We talked about human rights, but um, every child has a right to education to be included in the education system. But that presents great challenges for us as teachers, uh, huge challenges, um, because you know we're, we're the ones at the, the chalk face, if you like, literally, who have to who have to manage and engage with those children and try and include them, and also deal with all of those um, um, ideas of of uh, attitudes amongst other children as well. So how do you how do you develop that tolerant acceptance attitude? How do you how do you take on that responsibility? We just talked about responsibilities, but how do you, how do children understand their responsibility to work with their their other other children as well in the classroom and support them? Um, we had 20 teachers, educators, who um, submitted proposals that were accepted and came and presented their ideas to conference over the last two days and. Hats off to them, because actually, you know, I know what it is to do conference presentations. It's, you've got the proposals, you've got to think about it, you then have to prepare, you then have to go through all of that nervousness and uh, anxiety, and is anyone going to come and see me, and am I going to forget everything, and am I going to fall over and die, and uh, uh, is, is everyone going to leave, um, and, and all of that tension. So, so uh, thank you so much. I won't talk about those individuals. I enjoyed the sessions that I attended. Thank you very much to, to those people who, who presented um, in those sessions, but thank you to, to everyone um, for doing that. It is a brave thing to do, but I think it's a really important thing to do. It's important to share practice. It's important to, um, to, to have that opportunity to, as part of your own professional development, to go through that planning stage, how do I make these ideas clear, what am I going to put on my handout, how am I going to fit into the time, what are the key ideas, all of that is actually developmental. So, so well done, um, and, and I think that the conference is always so much richer with, with the voices and the practical um, implications from, 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 the, the, from practitioners and from their classrooms. Um, I've talked a lot about the academic aspects, if you like, the professional aspects of the conference, but of course there's the personal aspects as well. I mean, I think this is, this, I, I've been hugely impressed as, as, as an observer with the collegiality, um, friendship that you all offer each other. I think you've come here, you've renewed acquaintances, you've made new friendships, you've established existing friendships, you've, uh, and, and I think that sort of, you know, um, arms around each other's shoulders, you know, colleagues together, um, driving forward, I think that's a really important personal aspect of, of, of this. So that sharing of practice, engaging in each other's ideas, I think that personal aspect is so important. Um, and I think, I think just, uh, I'll finish off, because I know time's up, um, with one idea, and this has been mentioned several times. It's this concept of community of practice. And we've talked about how important for professional development 
a community of practice is in the school or in the community, the local community. But this is also another community of practice. And I think that the last two days have showed that this, this community of practice is a warm, sensitive, and really positive, energetic, and productive community of practice. So congratulations to you all. That's it from me. Thank you.